that Barrett guy. And not. here we are. Like a real hard you must be tired. Actually pretty chill. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? <sighs> Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. So, what'll it be? Wanna head back out for a little while? Yeah, why not? Well, you wanna head inside? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. <laughs> would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, enjoy. Huh? Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings. So if it comes down to do or die... If I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then... I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Could still kill some time.
The real deal, huh? Maybe just chill a bit. I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it.
Guess that's that then. What, they kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. Sorry, I tried. We talked it over, but... In the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. I'll catch you later. Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. That hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. Slow we'll talk later. I promise. Sorry, you were saying? Keep it tight. Ain't no room for error come tomorrow. More reason. Oh, no. You better not be about to ask for more money. Okay, what were we talking about? Yep, best way to clear your head so you can... We'll talk. So, where'd we leave off? It's been too long since we did this. Can't expect anyone but a true believer to stand tall if everything goes sideways. Oh, my bad. Continue. Not since we went on that all-night bender after HQ gave us the boot. They did not give us the boot. It was an amicable separation. Uh, just thinking about it's making me mad again. What's up with them? Big guy with a gun for an arm? Word is he lives in this town. Just shut up and wait. <sighs> hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. Know a big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch to you. Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm, three. <sighs> Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Got something to what? say? Uh, you looking at me? Hey. Move it! I I'm said so move! Look at all these assholes staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on Walmart. Am I right? Don't know Word of advice, Blondie. Don't awesome piss off my friend here. Thing. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry, I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it! You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh, yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit.
Best do it right. Shenra, then... Not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. Not bad, Merc. We owe you. There might be more on the I've seen them around here. Something. Good riddance to those rodents. What's gonna happen to Midgar? Are you gonna let me in, so we can talk in private? Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not. What do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but... If I don't deal with this now, it's only gonna get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. A down payment. We'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. I'll wait here.
Gotta admit, the watch is a lot more impressive. It took some real. Where it is, you got rid of our oversight. Did you really take time. care of that attack? Got customers lining up around the block to get their hands on big old swords like yours. Singing your praises. Mm -hmm. Did you really take care of that attack? You totally saved that man's bit. That landlady, Marl. She's so they blew up a reactor. Apparently, it was done by a. Just imagine if rich people. Another day. I wish I had your strength and confidence. Spend some of that gill. Husband decided to go. Good riddance to those rodents. You all set? Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. It's just another job. Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. Like talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. Hmm. Are your parents still around? Huh? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then, guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions. Yeah! yeah! I take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. Then let's lay down some rubber. Trade that frog. Hey, okay, you got it. You hear me? Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But, since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. Oh, 
come for us. Yeah, what he said. Oh, man. Just like that? No need to worry. He's got cloud, remember? Hey, you do know how to drive, right? Soldiers get mandatory training. Well, then. You gonna take my breath away? Make my head spin with your amazing skills? Don't play me if you get sick. <laughs> Someone's having fun. How can I not? A suit by Bill. A young couple thrust together by faith, race through the neon street night. Get off.
No, head straight for the warehouse. Aww. Her magical ride is almost at an end. Why are you talking like we're not here? Because you're not. Clearly we are. As if I could ever grow tired of your company. Naughty, naughty! Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our games will never rest! <laughs> Fight for me! Through! <laughs> oh ho ho! Come on, let's 
Push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friend! We did it! Go team! Don't get too excited. Reinforcements are hot on our trail. You passed the test. What test? Driving. Did more than just pass. Not really. You made it by the skin of your teeth, if we're being honest. Whatever. Ah, I bet you held back because I was with you. Didn't want you to fall. So now I'm too weak to stay on the bike? Huh? Huh? <sighs> just hold on tight, will you? What? I might be falling after all. Mm -hmm. Psych? <laughs> oh. oh, would you look at that? It's the end of the ride. Go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Hey, did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. The residential area is just beyond this gate. Mind doing the honors? <sighs> shouldn't go off on your own. <sighs> Here we are. The employee housing district. Where they put you when your parents work for Shinra. While their reactors were slowly killing the planet, we were living the good life.
Not this way. Not this way. the lights on every night for the girl who only comes home once every other blue moon mom's an old-fashioned type like that you think she'll make us pizza her midgar special she's quite the cook quick to whip up finger licking food even if you drop by in the dead of night and she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Why don't you wait around the corner over there? Ah, uh, okay. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it. With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Huh. Go in through the back door when the coast is clear. A signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. Find a room with two doors. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. Sorry about dropping in like this again. This will always be your home. So, how's practice going? <laughs> it's going. You get so fixated, lose sight of things. That's why I'm glad you've got a rock like this. Always there, taking up space. Hey! <laughs> Raised on praise, I see. So that's where she gets it from. The legendary Midgar special! Fantastic as always, Mrs. L. I always keep enough ingredients on hand to make extra just for you. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm part of the family.
Yeah, like a dog. We'll be chatting mom up in the kitchen, so don't even bother being quiet. There's no way she'll ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but... <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? Ah, thank you. What's this? Dear Mom and Dad, sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way, but I managed to land a starring role and closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as the princess? This isn't it. My dad, he was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. Thanks. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand though, right? You can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. Sure I can't tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. Wedge! Hey, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. <sighs> Alright, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. 
So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Ah, uh, you know damn well huh? what she means. Uh, uh, While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <sighs> well, that diversion's not gonna create itself. Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. <sighs> Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the gold saucer. Ah, but what do you care? No, I wanna hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years. Until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night... Her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork. And in the worst possible place, Mako storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. Been like that ever since. No change whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology. And led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about it. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now, between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon, he'll get caught up in the flow and poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel, unlike most of the time. I see. Mako's the essence of life itself, of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jessie about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, ooh, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. Not my problem. This guy. Hey, it's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. <laughs>